continue with the program. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Rahman Rahim, wa salatu wa salam ala Muhammadin Rasulullah, wa ala alihi wa sahabatihi ajma'in. After giving due thanks and praises to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and uh, soliciting his blessings and peace upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, a man who is greater than ordinary men, a man who is even greater and more important than history itself. Because Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the maker of history, and he is the person who changed the entire human outlook and understanding of life and outlook to life. In fact, the human tongue and the human mind is not profound enough or oh, it is not even encyclopedic enough to find the right words of praise to give to this person called Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So simply to put my idea across is any generation which is lucky to be within the perimeter to be among those to whom the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has reached or arrived, I think they are the luckiest generation, conditional that they know the value and the essence of a man called Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the value and the importance and the relevance of his behavior, conduct, and the message that he has brought from his Lord through the archangel called Jibreel. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In observance of the necessary protocols of any gathering, I must first of all extend my sincere, heartfelt greetings to the principal of the school and to his teachers who are running the school with him and to the students who are the subject matter of the school. And I must extend my Greetings to my mentor personally, Sheikh Ustaz Cham, who has always been a source of inspiration for me personally in this country. Because I could still remember when he called in one of my programs, he was advising the Gambian youth to be listening to what I'm saying. So that actually tells a lot about this man. And anywhere there is goodness, righteousness, and something that is advantageous to community, to society, to the nation, Ustaz Champ is there. May Allah give him long life and good health. He has demonstrated his selfless service to humanity and his proper understanding of exploiting the potentials of man. Because when we are talking about the masjid, and out of the blue, suddenly, he developed a very good methodology of getting money out of the people, voluntarily or involuntarily. And at least here is some form. May Allah give him blessing for him. Well, without wasting much time, I think uh, I was given a topic about Christmas, but I decided to tell, uh, in fact, I think he is entitled to the greater praise, praise. The good name is what? Huh? Musa Tura is the number one person who is entitled to be praised. To get me sometimes, it's just like looking for a needle in a sand. 
but he is able to follow me 24 hours, day in, day out, communicating with me, reminding me. And out of that exhaustion, out of that sense of, you know, giving an, a promise and not being able to fulfill it, he has compelled me to be here today. May Allah bless him. My topic is the youth. It was suggested that we, I should discuss or I should dilate or talk about the role of the youth in national development. But I think the Gambian youth need more than that. They need more than to know what is their role in national development. Because I think before you ask somebody to walk, you must provide all the necessary conducive conditions for him to walk and to become productive. So there are a lot of challenges that are facing the youth. Some of them are internal and the others are external. Some are subjective, others are objective. Some are social, others are political, and others are economical and even psychological. There are a lot of challenges and problems facing the youth in this country. So before we tell them what is their role, in national development or in communal development, I think we should set we should set the standard for them, the challenges that they are supposed to face in the course of executing what is their role or what society has asked them to do. And the only place where we can find that solution. Sometimes solutions can be partial, but a complete solution for a complete problem could only be found in the Holy Quran and in the Sunnah of Muhammad When we say Sunnah, we don't simply mean the verbal memorization of his words. It is the interpretation of those words into action to influence yourself and to change society and attitudes. This is what we mean by Sunnah. Not merely, you are just, I mean, repeating what you memorize. I mean, about his sayings, no. We want you to interpret what he has said so that it has an impact on yourself. Your behavior is a mirror. You reflect yourself to society. Society accepts you, and it becomes a pattern of living and life in that society. This is what we call real soul. I wish I could say this in Mandinka, and I will do I'm going against my own principles because I've taken that undertaking never to deliver any lecture to any Gandhian in a language that I and you do not understand. English is not my language. It's not your language either. And sometimes if I want to say it, certain things are the nuances that is due things. If I want to say that in English, I am laboring, double laboring. You may not understand what I'm saying. But give me Mandinka or all of or Fula or Jola. So, but anyway, we are dictated by circumstances and by time to do what the people want and not what our revolutionary instincts want us to do. For that matter, let us go back to the Holy Quran concerning the youth. Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 32, number 33 or 32 and listing the challenges that are facing the youth in every generation and every time. وَإِذْ قَالَ رَبُّكَ لِلْمَلَائِكَ إِنِّي جَائِنٌ فِي الْأَرْضِ خَلِيفٍ You see, the youth, the Gambian youth are the Khalifa in Gambia. The Gambian youth, because a society without youth means there are only old people living. And when old people are the only people living in a community, that is a dead community. There cannot be any production, and even there cannot be any new baby in that society. Then the youth are the potential builders, and the youth are everything. This is why when Allah created Adam, well, we can even think that he was created as a youth, not as an old man or as a baby, but as a youth. When Allah pronounced to the angels that he is going to place on earth a vice gerent, a deputy, that is going to do his will accordingly and will be sending prophets and books so that those, pe that those people will be guided or that, those, that, that deputy will be guided according to the, will, to the execution of the will of Allah. 
So let's take Adam as an example. Funding kelu anem funding musul. Angalia kama yembola wala la bada mandi anya but I must do it. Somebody would say, okay, mandi ko bija njola bija fulo bija wudul man mandi ka You know, this is our problem. We must overcome this formidable problem. Because before we become conscious people, liberated people, people who have understanding, ingenuity, people who can think for themselves, we must translate every idea into our language. It is a cause of our backwardness. Europe was developed by Tuvabu Kaun, but Gambia is made backward by Tuvabu Kaun. So the youth, you must understand this. This is very important. Because if you don't understand this, you will never be part and parcel of national development, much less your communal or your family development. So for that matter, Adam alayhi salam is the first youth by an example to be created. But after creating Adam, what Allah said, what is called Rabbu Kalil Malaika, when Allah announced to the angels that he's going to create a Khalifa, a powerful vice general, a deputy, to be placed on earth to do his will, what did the angels tell Allah? Ataja alu fiha man yufsigu fiha wa yasfiku Are you going to place on the earth someone who is going to be cause of corruption? And at the same time, that corruption is going to be cause of bloodshed in, uh, on the earth. These are the challenges of the people, especially the youth. Your minds are corrupted. Your souls are corrupted. Your bodies are corrupted. A young girl was speaking here, and she was lamenting over the exposure of the feminine body in the Gambia, which has become a Fogajai phenomenon in the Gambia. <laughs> The feminine body has become a fogajai phenomenon in the Gambia. You see, women, let me tell you one thing. If you expose all the beauties in your body at your tender age, before you reach the age of maturity, nobody will look at you because all the beauty will disappear as water evaporates when the heat of the sun is on it. Don't do it. Don't do it, I beg you. You don't have to sell your soul. You don't have to sell your body to the devil. You give yourself to Allah and to Muhammad and to your community. You can do that only and unless you live according to the principles of Allah. You are not a fogaja. You are a human being. You are the most honorable being that Allah has created. You cannot get, take your body and make it into a fogajai. Even the body bunkers are now tired with fogajai. If you don't ever, I'm going to be in the middle of the Java from the forest. I'm going to be so this is the problem. The first challenge of the youth is we are living in the 21st century, the century of the internet, and very, very fast technological development. But we are not part of that making. We, the Gambian youth, we are not making part, we are not contributing to any technological advancement and development. We are mere consumers. That's why internet has become a, one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest causes of all the social problems that we are facing in the youthful community in the Gambia. So be very careful, you dears. Your first challenge is corruption. And that corruption leads you automatically to bloodshed. This is why all the killings Statistically, that were mentioned in the Gambia, either discovered or undiscovered as a crime, all of them were committed by the youths, either female or male. All the past killings that we've been hearing haunted the entire national mind, disturbing the entire social structures, even the security ones, were committed by the youths because you've been corrupted. 
mentally, psychologically, spiritually, physically, and at the same time, even nutritionally, what you eat, you are corrupted by what you eat. Can I come into my alcohol? Well, I think I'm very poor and the next minute I far. I'm not with a catal. I didn't put on the tarmac and thousand years. I be talking about that one in the car for now with a catal. That one was a bomb, a disease. That man was filled with, filled with, filled with disease. It's a mal. So you are the youths who are supposed to correct that situation. You are the youths who are going to ch take charge of this. I mean, national development, communal development, family development, personal development. Let's get an example of this school. A very tiny community. You can develop it. Not only coming in the morning, going into the classroom, listening to the teacher and taking notes. At the end of the day, exam is there, you pass and giving a certificate. No. This is why any education without the underpinnings of ethics. Jikote karan wa karan to aka sunya role wuru moko. Ola tin da Gambia PHG don da sunya ro. Diploma buka sunya ro. Because jikote je. Ande ne ma mo tin de wala sunya. PHG ni masters da ka sunya ro. Aman ke ko ka PHG le doya ka masters doya de. Because a detail ya ni wala tin nan ko to babu kan karamo mu fiti no leti bari to babu londo mu ko kendo leti europe was built by to babu knowledge but africa is underdeveloped by to babu kaum that's a difference between them to babu londo and into babu kaum man kene angale mete kala ni fenna for good morning how are you go there come there afale ben de fala ni angale kam bala mba fola jam fon tarata mula man ni ka kam wala halita taraja la mbala because my mind is working on two lanes when I'm speaking English. I'm observing the syntactical, the grammatical structures. And I'm using bombastic words so that I can impress the students. <laughs> One of the big mistakes is Jalenda. But you remember when they come for a new point of Mubuka Jalenda. You see, it's a problem. Okay, look at Adam. I tell you, I'll see how many you've seen, you'll see how well you've seen with them. So be very careful. These are your first challenges. Because the lectures I want to give, I don't think time will allow me to go deeper into the entire aspect of what I want to present. <laughs> so what I will do is, I will make it a crap walking lecture. Nyankaro nabe tamala ka chapari chapari le. This is what I'll do. Because there is no time. Otherwise, it's a very important lecture. But look at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa allama adama kala inni a'alam ma la ta'alamu. Allah says, I know what you do not know. So if you want to get what is called transcendental knowledge, knowledge that is beyond time, knowledge that is beyond the school, knowledge that is beyond your own time, you must go to Allah's source, that is the Quran and the Sunnah of Muhammad. This is why Allah says, This is why inni la ta'lamu. I know what you do not know. And to, and to make sure that Allah to demonstrate to the angels that Allah say He knew what they don't know. Wa Allama Adam al Asma akullah. Adama was installed. Adama was taught, Adama was educated, Adama was naturally fed, Adama was given all the means of understanding and discerning and discovering, observing, imagining, experimenting and concluding. Adama was given everything. <laughs> Because Allah Ibrahim Adam is somebody Adam. Allah Adam al Asma Akullaha, all the attributes. All the essential 
ingredients of knowledge were put into Adam and it was Freud in the blood of Adam and I am part and parcel of Adam as long as I am part and parcel of Adam I am supposed to be an educated being to build this war pari ndole tem ngol bunya la fonita da tubabu do yekara mo kena hadi mo mo karanta mo fin be buka bunya you know there is mental slavery kill that mental slavery in yourself so when at the ala jube ba ala ko wa allama adam al asma kullaha adam was taught with all the attributes with all the let me put it into simple english with all the adjectives with all the names were put into adam but if somebody asks you how was adam educated was was there a classroom was there a teacher and was there a subject or was there a syllabus or a curriculum even me na folai there was no classroom there was no chalk there was no blackboard and there was not even a school but adam was educated wala tinu na folo to kebali kan karandi school ko no imbukata school kaditol manta school because ala bra adam adada i found a beka konole and this is what you go to biology advanced level of biology what we call the genetic codes and every genetic code there is that power to know because adam adu ngolo yende dale pour se lolo wa allama adam al asma kullaha thumma aradahum ala al malaika then he display all those things before the angels and ask them to inform to give him the names of those things look at the superiority of man when man is given proper education look at the superiority of man haraba di wala buya ni londo di ala youthful you would use this is your first superiority power wa allama adam al asma kullaha thumma aradahum ala al malaika what did he say fa qala an bi'uni bi asma ha ula in kuntum sadiqin he asked the angels to tell him the names and the attributes of those things if at all what they said aliya atak alu fiha man yufsidu fiha wa yafsiqu dima is true qalu subhanaka la ilma lana illa ma 'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim praise be to you we have not knowledge except the knowledge you've given us because you are the wise and you the giver of all laws so for the youth your first challenge is corruption of your mind the corruption of your soul the corruption of your body the corruption of your living condition the corruption of your spiritual existence as a muslim because we are living in a time the greatest challenge for a youth is to live as a youth one to live as a youth an african to youth to live as a youth as a muslim and to youth uh, to live as a youth as a third world person these are the three or four dimensions of problems in our society But look at it funding kero allah sembo wo mu londo damale londo damma wala tinna ala dubai minke wa allama adam al asma kulla ay adam karandi songo belela ayaka jato kono ayaka yelo kono abina belo nala kato afele adam di ngol tata bifo nde fele be diamu ka microphone wala wo kantela kumo warandi mol fele kan natal duniya bebe ndube ka at the same time londo le wono bri adam ala ya dada ay londo sababu beke adam jato kono la madi tumabo damal ay di te gambe ngol bari te tata foga jay wa fola tumabo tata kara o foga yo kabo tu babu famole tu babu dende kamen dum fa bada ta bul foga jaye is a conspiracy foga jaye o mu jam fale ti al seolo ni mo ka foga jaye o ta ba ke aka dum o mari bu ka hamo su to nata fan su dende ko deda foga jaye is a conspiracy i hate it and i must say that i hate it foga jaye ni ni mo to kotol be mu jam fale ni dia wala ti na gande on be buka buka wori na moto soto na moto soto na foka ye mo mo je chiro kan dendi kam lu njawo ba bala foka jaya bondi wala dendi ka furi wala dendi ka furi ni ni muso bente buka djube no asanta foka jaye wala dendi ko mi ka sam gondala ti wo mu dendi kale foka jaye is a conspiracy let's use our mind tu babo man bay fay dulu ala soto ya di tel dol ba di mon kolle folo ya na di ma jam fana muri kala sa Alamale ndema. So kufalo mo minti fonding kel purin aliye do ko ke allondo nyini. 
bari ma ko londo min ka soto kaiti ken sangola un ko le londo min ka kaito buñandi because it is the certificate you you yourself you the youth you give the certificate a value it is not vice versa kana son certificate way value dealer ni wakata e ka kuriyal you must make sure that you learn properly you must make sure that you do your research properly you must make sure that you study properly so that you can achieve a very high constructive level of knowledge a knowledge that is not going to be limited to yourself alone but a knowledge that is going to be instrumental in changing your society your family and your nation this is your first report is it social media name it especially the women folk the girls what benefit do you have from social media i think you know that your mobiles has a limited megabytes it uses limited megabytes isn't it yes. and you know that a mobile itself has a life span a limited life span a mobile after five years become an old model mobile isn't it because the europeans we are consumers the europeans in every minute they are developing a new mobile system isn't it so you are not contributing anything to social media and look at the beautiful name social media for social interaction but what are you in what are you putting into social media and what are you getting out of social media ask yourself the gambian youth or the gambian community and society there are three things that we are very good in doing with social media but biting a rumor mongering and copying what others people are doing koma kumari furimo aninka kibari kuntangol janjan aniye musoje aye pare wala kambano e pare aye pare kawa ko ke the next day gambian kambano fona ye nyungo ngo hari beyangol buka beyangol copy andele manyan kuma ja ka wulo manya copy nyan kuma buka wulo copy Uro ka manyale ke nyan kumo ka manyale ke Ola ti nani nyan kumo la fa uro ti nani la ka fon wara ndi la ko uro kan ta nyami uro uro ya je ka fon wara tal Ola bu ka fon do ya ndi ka fon ke nyan uro e kundi ngoti uro ba do molale Pare ti e fon ke social media e atolu mondo ti benda ke de mondo e be do molale So this is a problem social media is a big problem Look, let me tell it on a very serious note. As long as we are unable to manage, to control and to direct the contents of social media for our youth never sit down and entertain that one day our societies will develop. We will always be slaves, not only even slaves, but slaves of slaves. So this is a big challenge for you. Go to the Holy Quran. Wa allama Adam al asma akulla. Adam was taught all the values of everything in this world. And you are from Adam. And Adam was the first Muslim. And you are a Muslim. And Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger. The book of the Quran verse number 9 in Surah Al-Isra in that journey. Inna hadha al-Quran yahdi lillati hiya aqwam. The best guidance is this Holy Quran. but all the bots all the defects all the disease all the negatives all the minus are existing in our midst <laughs> what is the cause because we don't identify the challenges and we don't know the causes we will never be able to prescribe the solutions is it time time well anyway time has come Uh, it's very short but anyway to just brush everything and put it in one uh, uh in one crucible or in one time you know yeah it's, it's good sometimes it's good to to it's good to be very brief sometimes it's good to be very brief because even 10 hours is not good it's not sufficient for me but what i should say is for the youth make sure that you understand your culture very properly gambian youth go alalla ado lon kendek You see problem all the caring we are living in a time called a generation cultural warfare momo la chosano kanatela drom itebekela nyeret yemembondi jiokon 
the Gambian culture is lost. The Gambian culture is dead because the Gambian youth are infected with a culture called the known cultural culture, a culture that is called the global culture. There is nothing called a global culture. There is something called a social culture, no global culture. Global culture is another name for domination, transgression, oppression, psychological control, and mind control. So what I think, I don't have to go I don't have to go back. I don't have to go Know your history yesterday. What your people did. They will tell you that Mongo Park discovered the River Nile. They will tell you that Armstrong was the first person to go there. They will tell you that Wilberforce was the first person to, to stand against slavery. All these are books. All these are fabrications. It was your own grand, great-grandfathers who did everything for you. All the history that we've been taught in the classroom are just bogus history. Yalkarani for Fena Mancorek, Hanni Tital Bijan and Bafle. A be man correct. Katu Tita Minke Karandi or Tita Mango Buko Save, Yan Yale Kaye Karandala. It's bogus. It's not true. The only book that is defined as the best of books is the Holy Quran. Yani Ahsan al Qazas, the best of narrations. Authentic, infallible. So for that matter, Alala Chosanulo, Aliala Kunulo. Aliala Dinolam, you are a Muslim or a Gambian Christian. No matter what is your belief system, along, yal, you bring it into line with the true Gambian culture and you live as a Gambian. Don't allow Christianity to Europeanize you, but rather Gambianize Christianity. I think you get my point? I told Musolu Fanan. Al Kana song Aliake Queen Mary Tiwala Queen Anne. And I left a killer musoti a role model. Al Kira la Musoluta, while I side the Musoluta. Ningwal Fanan Jam Fatal Veka to Moma Minja Bukalala. Namusuke Balu Mintam Beta Jam Balu de Mama De. We are very, very beautiful. Their lifestyles were very great. Al Walta Aliake role model. Anim Fanan, know what is your responsibility in your society? Nisun Kutolom Iulu Muso Makoi. Ninkamba no lom albu alta pala pa domo ni ataya mingo tala. Anin kupi e jube ni silakan to kupi e ala tala. Al kumira nimba na fala som. Nale woke dron dunia be diala. And make sure that you are able to connect yesterday to today so that you can build your tomorrow. Otherwise you are going to be a loser. And a loser in a world of competition is just like a dead vulture. And then yam wele. And then yam wele minka duo domo bam. You know vulture? Yes. Vulture is that big bad me alone when something is dead aka jia kan kodi banal nene taje la fenka duo doma mun ya sabu ka tu duo na famu mente duo mu KMC la ti aka mbalito le samba bana te famu mbalito ti na ka mbalito ti te mbuka te domo no wala ti ne buka duo la fureje have you ever seen the dead body of a vulture mo ne ma ja alama alen bi ma so don't be a vulture alama alen bi yeah, say before you drop the mic i would like you to give an advice to the Gambian youths in terms of uh, attitudinal change towards uh, disciplines that, that that is lacking, especially in the social media, the number of insults. Yeah, I told you all before, I told you all before, but I won't go for the money. I can't go for the money. I can't go for the money. I can't go for the money. I social media, how we apply or use or exploit or utilize social media. You know, instead of putting something in, an input or output that is advantageous and beneficial to community, but what we do is we keep on insulting each other, imprecating each other. We have even reached a level whereby Gambians have already signed the certificate of some Gambians that they are going to help. So let you do the job. Let me do the job. Let me do the job. So social media is not for that. So, but you know, it's very good. The corruption is relevant. But you see, the problem is human living or human society is connected. It is a domino principle. When you touch one, one, one domino, all the dominoes fall down. You know, we need to correct the behavior and the attitudes of the elders. When that is in line, then the young one will be in the correct path. This is why 50 years back, the elders were in their right mind and in their right shape and doing their right functions and every society was fine. But when the elders departed, and defaulted in, in, the, in, the, in the execution of their duties, what actually happened? The young people 
I mean, uh, took their places and the young are inexperienced. And what follow is, instead of using the mind, they are using the heart. And this is the cause of all the insults and the imprecations that are volleying around in social media. At the end of the day, we are the victims because we will end up being the vultures and no animal ever eat a vulture. And when a vulture dies, everything comes to a stop. May Allah prevent us, may Allah help us, and may Allah give us wisdom, understanding, so that we can live our lives according to the principles of the Quran and according to the teachings of Muhammad Sallallahu and the good companions and our good culture, our good history, our good concerns, and do everything right and never to be selfish, all the time to be selfless and to do whatever we want to do for community, not for ourselves, and try to look beyond 100 years, not to be looking for today only. Ala fita mo B, ayado mo B. Ola tinam buka business wake ninga kem kabuli. Tili wote tili ninga firo wake nafta kapa profito odomo. Oka business wote tiniale. Alama ala mbia makui. Alama ala karambu yirwa. Alama ala funding kile barakandi. Alama funding kile buri yera dino long. Alama yeye ala long anyama. Ka ala long wolong kasi la ala la kala ya maroke. Kabula kila noma wolong almindi la yake. Wolong kukendo na si ata dunia kukurongo kado yale kukurongo dunia do yata alay dunia de dami ne kama ayade da yin kama wala tufsidu fi arda baada islahiya don distribute or don allow corruption to be on the earth after it has been made good so this is our mission may Allah help us sallallahu alaihi wasallam